everyone, welcome back to Mask Monday. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I don't know why. I've just had so many other video ideas on my list that I've been working my way through, so I uh, wanted to get back to this. And so you're seeing me. This is like my morning. I just rolled out of bed. I'm still doing a little coffee. And uh, yeah, this is my ratty old t-shirt that I sleep in. So uh, I'm going to do a mask today. So I went through, I have this box where I keep all my masks in there. And I went through, my skin's been a little dry lately and I think it's from the Retin-A that I've started using. Drier than usual. Anytime my skin's a little dry, that's unusual. So I <clears throat> wanted to put use a mask that maybe would kind of uh, bring a little moisturization back to my skin and uh, you know maybe help a little bit. I have a little bit of peeling from that. So I went through my collection of masks and pulled out this Kibella balancing mask. And I'm pretty sure I picked this up in Target. I'm going to start writing on the back where I get things because I'm forgetting now. I have a little bit of an inventory and I've forgotten where I've picked up some of these things. So this is a balancing mask that will control oil and correct and perfect dry and oily skin on your face. So it'll kind of bring balance to your skin. So anyway, I'm going to go over and uh, wash up and I'll be back to apply the mask. So I've just, you know, put my contacts in and pulled my hair back and I'm going to kind of just mush this around a little bit, make sure it's all mixed. Sometimes if things sit for a while, they'll separate. So I like to do that. Even if it's in like a tube, I'll try and do that sometimes if I remember. Sometimes I don't always remember until it comes pouring out and it's like all watery and then you're like, oh, okay. So there feels like there's a lot in here. It's a half of a fluid ounce. I'm guessing this would be enough for more than one application or to share if you have someone you're doing this with. So I just squeezed a little bit out of the tube and it's like a thick cream. It doesn't have, really doesn't have much smell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and <clears throat> apply this to my skin. If I, if there seems like there's going to be enough for a second treatment, I'll reseal the package and save it. And I can tell you there's definitely going to be enough. It says you can leave it on for up to 15 minutes. My sense is this is not going to be the type of mask that dries. It's just going to be on my skin. I'm going to start my timer. And I've gotten it all over my phone now. Oh my gosh. Uh, <clears throat> which is kind of nice. I like those kind of masks sometimes because they're very comfortable to wear around while you're doing other things. And save it. I'm glad I'm wearing my crappy night's shirt. Just got it all over my shirt. <sighs> so there feels like there's about three more applications in here, so I don't want to waste the product. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and find something to decant this into and so I can save it for a future use. And I'll check back with you in a little while. So it's been about, about 10 minutes. And I'm so actually kind of surprised this is drying down a little bit. So I wanted to zoom in and give you kind of a closer shot. It's, you know, pretty dry to the touch, which kind of surprised me because it didn't feel like it was going to be that kind of mask. But, I mean, I'm okay with that. It's just something to know. I thought it was going to be more of like a creamier mask that was going to just kind of sit on the skin until you take it off and then uh, you'll feel those results and you're done. So while we're waiting for my timer to go off, I have a couple of masks that I wanted to show you to see which ones, which one you'd like me to uh, feature in my next 
Mask Monday. So I thought I'd quickly do a little show and tell of what was in my bucket there. And, ooh, wow, this one's really kind of liquidy. So this is, uh, I'll start with this one. It's uh, from Skin Care Cosmetics. I picked this up at Ulta. And it has a retinol, it's a retinol vitamin enriched advanced brightening mask. So this is similar to that hand cream. It's the same brand as this hand cream that I have been using. It's not a really well-known brand, but, you know, I've used a couple of their things, so I have this one. Then I have this Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask that I could do. And then I recently picked up this Instant Deep Puffing Eye Mask, better than a nap, from Sephora. Uh, I think this kind of goes over your eyes, which would be weird to do on camera, but if you're interested in knowing about this, I would do it, because you know, I'll do it. So those are your three choices. Let me know in the comments below. Here's my timer. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one you would like to see next, and I'll feature that in my next Mask Monday. So let's go ahead and remove this. I have a damp washcloth. Oops. I'm kind of a hot mess today, people. I'm just going to let that dry down for a minute. So I've let that dry a little bit, and I actually do think it did what it said it would do. It would kind of bring some balance to your skin. It would kind of tidy up some of the oily spots, but leave your drier spots a little refreshed. I think if you are really dry, this is not going to be hydrating enough for you, but if you are kind of combination skin, I think this would be... A really nice choice for you. So I also went on to the Target website because I was pretty sure I got it at Target and I did. So those little packets are about two dollars and they're like a, a deluxe sample size packet because they also sell them in tubes. I don't know if you can see that. So you know I always like to check out that little section of Target where they have kind of the mask products. In my Target, it's near where they have like the scrubbies and some of the bath products or body spray products. They usually have a little section of these kind of masks. So I think that's great. I decanted it into a little jar, a little travel jar, so I can use it. Look how much product is in there. That's probably... I'm going to say at least three more masks for me. So that, that packet had enough for four masks. You could share it with a friend. You could do what I've done, uh, decant it, and use it for later. So don't forget to let me know which mask you'd like me to feature in my next Mask Monday. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, it's just stopping by for the first time, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and join me for future videos. And I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Those links are down below. I would love to see you there as well. So I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.